Hey y'all, it's me. Hi. <laughs> hey everybody. I'm gonna let y'all get in here for a second. I'm gonna let you get in here. I'm gonna get this shared. All right, we got some people in here. Hey y'all. So we're not doing a sale today. Hello, Miss Jennifer. Hey, everybody. Hey, Robin. Hey, y'all. All right. So, <clears throat> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. All right. Hey, Lana. Hey, Jana. Hey, Tammy. I'm going to let everybody get in here, guys. There's some things that I want to address. There's some things that I would like to address, and I feel like maybe a lot of other people would like to address them as well. So I figured we could just all address them all together. So I'm going to get in here. Whew. I can't even begin to tell you guys. I can't even begin to tell you guys the chaos that has been my morning. Hey, everybody. So we've got quite a few people in here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So as a lot of you guys know, and there's a lot of new people to my page, that um, a few days ago I did a live video where I basically expressed my distaste and a lot of other consultants' distaste for the uh, No More collection, um, which was the black, all black collection through LuLaRoe. Um, it was like an hour-long video where I spoke my opinion, and I felt that as a customer to them, um, a lot of people don't understand that. They think that the people who buy the clothes from LuLaRoe are actually the customers of LuLaRoe, but they aren't. You see, the people that buy the clothes from LuLaRoe are actually the consultant's customers. There are customers. The consultants are the customers to LuLaRoe, okay? So... A few days ago, I did that video, so I wanted to do a little bit of an update and let you guys know what was going on. Um, as many can tell, I don't give a crap what anyone thinks or what anyone says. If I have an opinion or I have a feeling or I have a distaste for something, I'm going to speak honesty. And that is all that I know how to do because my moral compass is too strengthened to speak anything other than honesty and um, my opinion and the facts in which I know. So I plan on doing that in this video here. Um, all right, so um, basically after the launch of the No More Collection, um, everything went haywire. We've already, we've already, we've already, uh, discussed that and we've, we've addressed it. Correct. Right. We've already done that in the last video. So I'm not going to spend any more time on that because I feel like there's a lot more outside of that past that after that, the aftermath of that, that needs to be addressed. And I feel like, you know, I can write a review on wealth, but I'm going to, I'm a customer. I spend thousands of dollars with this company. I've spent thousands of dollars with this company. So I feel like, you know, this is my way to get my point across and write Rightfully so, this is, this I guess is my Yelp review or my Yelp, you know, whatever. So this is, this is, this is my way. So um, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people that agree with me in this video. So let's just go ahead and get it started. After the launch with the No More Collection, um, LuLaRoe sent out a mass email um, to its uh, consultants. I want to read this email to you guys. I want to read you what was sent to us, Okay. Dear friends, as LuLaRoe has experienced incredible growth over the last four years, we have seen many opportunities and challenges. No shit. We have put systems and processes in place only to see them become obsolete, sometimes even before they were fully implemented. No shit. Through all this growth and all the changes, one thing has remained consistent, our commitment to creating an opportunity that is fair to everyone, okay? An opportunity that is fair to everyone and a culture of service, community, and love. I'm not sure about the service part because you want good service for your customers, which you believe are the people that buy from your consultants, but really there are customers and we're your customers, so I'm not sure that you actually care about fair um, for everybody that you service. Um, we believe in creating a level playing field so that all retailers will have a chance to grow their business through hard work, determination, education, and self-improvement, which should have been a period there. Um, 
each of you having the opportunity to define what your business and your customer base looks like. If you join LulaRoad to earn a few extra dollars or to find a community or any other reason, we applaud you for making that choice and doing the things that bring you happiness. That was a backhanded comment if you guys didn't understand that. We celebrate all those who have become creators in their own lives and who recognize that they have a choice in how they view and interact with the world. At the same time, many of, here we go, y'all. At the same time, many of the top retailers in this business were once looking at this business from the outside and trying to decide if it made sense for them and their family to join LuLaRoe and accept the challenges of owning their own business. First off, when you say many of the top retailers in this business were once looking at it from the outside trying to decide if they wanted to make this decision, then guess what? That is not the case because the top sellers are the first people, the top people at the top of the pyramid that started this business before this business knew what this business was going to become, okay? So yeah, in a sense, I guess they took, you know, a thing, but, you know, there wasn't much of a loss there. So let's just continue this. They have achieved their success by accepting the responsibility that comes with entrepreneurism, that dang word that they throw around all the time, and they should be applauded for their results. LuLaRoe has achieved phenomenal success by selling comfortable, fun, affordable, fashionable, colorful clothing to retailers who in turn continue to sell millions of customers across the country. Our unique system of producing limited quantities of any one print has driven retail sales to over, let's rub it in again, $2.1 billion year to date. No single pattern, body style, color, or print has ever defined the success or failure of a retailer. We recognize that some of you feel that the launch of the No More collection was unfair and that there was favoritism to some retailers. Now we're getting somewhere, right? That is simply not true. Not at all. In our effort to be fair to all, we have developed a queue system that creates a virtual holding room where everybody in that room has the equal opportunity to move into the shopping cart. Once you are in the cart, you may purchase product you believe is best for your business pending availability. If a retailer you sell, if as, I'm sorry, if as a retailer you sell a lot of product, it is, let me tell you, quote, unquote, they quote, unquoted this, it is fair for you to be able to buy a lot. So, in essence, this was the kicker for me. They basically said, if you are a retailer who sells a lot of product, it is only fair for you to be able to buy a lot. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's dissect this for just a second. If you are a top retailer who has 90,000, 100,000, 120, 150,000 customers in your group on your page that buy from you, and you are allowed to buy more because you have that. First off, let me say this. There is no right-minded mother of children, better half to another great half, that would sign on with a company knowing dang well that they were going to get un... Well, I don't want to say un. They were going to get less treatment for the fact that they were a small business. There is nobody that would sign off with the company that l literally just in their own email, in their email, said that it is only fair that these top consultants get more purchases and more products than you. Listen, ain't nobody complaining if they want to go buy $20,000, if they want to go buy $30,000, or if they want to go buy $80,000. Everybody is complaining about the fact that the purchases that they make tend to only include solids, items that have been out of stock to every Tom, Dick, and Harry consultant that is underneath them for two months, which I'm talking about Sarah's. They've been out of stock, okay, but yet they tend to accumulate them by the boxes, by the dozens, okay? So there is no person that would sign on with the company knowing that there was this elite group that gets all the unicorn prints, all the solid prints. They get to go and fly because they preach and they teach to go pick out 2,000 of their own pieces from the warehouse. Where in my contract, when I signed up, did I sign something that agreed to this system? Because I didn't agree to this system. System. Because the videos that I had seen and the message that I have heard that had been portrayed about this company through LuLaRoe, through Mark and Deanne, is this. 
This is a level playing field. You have the capability of making a business what you want to make it. You put in the work, you will go far. You put in the work, you will make decent money. You put in the work, you can go on vacation. You put in the work, you can go on a cruise. You put in the work, you can do these things. You are allowed to be an entrepreneur in whichever way that you choose to be. And through our company, we allow our consultants to grow at whatever pace that they pave by the amount of effort, time, energy that they put into this company. Now, what you just said in that email contradicts that. What you said in that email contradicts that level playing field that you claim to have in your company. What you, what you just claimed was basically what every low-level consultant has been complaining about since this No More Collection, you know, launched. Now, that's just the first thing that happened after this, guys. I wish that that was the only thing that's happened after this disaster of a launch. Can we go on to the next part of this, please? So then, it went two days by, and nobody from the company had publicly addressed any of its consultants. Now, let me tell you how the company addresses us consultants. The company addresses us by sending... Um, by making a video that is pre-recorded, they used to be live on YouTube, then they went to pre-recorded, where we could go back and if we missed it, we could re-watch it. It was in our email, it was in our build system, it was in our announcement, right? So then, Mark decided, Dan didn't have the kahunas to come and speak to us, unfortunately. Mark decided to come on and speak to us. And let me tell you guys the message that was portrayed by Mark to us. And I'll tell you right now, before I even tell you what was said, they need to hire whoever the heck their PR person is. Because whoever's doing their public relations, whoever's dealing with that, they are failing. They, they shouldn't even get paid a penny. I mean, they are failing this company left and right, front and back. So then we get an email that they're gonna address the company. They don't do it in a pre-recorded. What they do is they do it in a live so that way no one can see it. Fortunately enough for y'all, somebody recorded the video and now I can play parts of it for you. So, let's go to that and let's dissect this speech, you guys. Can you, can you take on and the fact that you have made decisions to do something different, that you don't accept the status quo and you're out working hard to change things in your life. And I absolutely respect and applaud that on every level. Um, I understand that uh, around this Noir collection that there's... Wait, hold on. That's the wrong part. I want to get to the good part, Mark. Maybe at this moment that those levels of trust might have been damaged a little bit. Uh, and I want to try and communicate clearly and help to reestablish those. Now, you'll see me look down. Most of the times I just speak right from, from my heart and from my instincts. And today I'm doing that, but I've made some notes because I want to make sure that I... I've made some notes, too. Things. Some of the things that you have communicated to us, we want to make sure that, that we address those issues. Um, let's start with last night. I wrote a letter in my heart and in my mind that letter was reassuring and comforting and encouraging okay I can't even can we get to the point can we quit using like descriptive words to change things in your life and I absolutely respect heartbroken that it's a physical illness happened it's simply I can't even find it. Let me just tell you guys what he said. Let me tell you what he said. He opened the video and he said, Hey, y'all, I see that there has been some distaste for the way that the No More Collection has been released. I would like to address these things. This is me not speaking verbatim what he's saying. I'm paraphrasing. Bear with me. So then he goes into it and then he talks about concrete. He says, My, I worked concrete and I had this half a million a job that was worth about half a million dollars and everything went wrong with it. He said, when I worked concrete, he goes, and if you know concrete, well, let me tell you something, Mark. My mom owns one of a very successful concrete business and I know lots about concrete. So I was so excited when you pulled this up because now I get to say what I know and what I get to say. So then he comes in and he says, you know, I worked concrete and I was working this half a million job and it just seemed like nothing was going right. I had to call and get my concrete on Saturday. Y'all, this is no joke. This is what the CEO is saying to its consultant. I had to call and get the concrete on Saturday because that was the best deal and service I could get from the concrete person. Um, we had It was such a big job. We had to hire all these people to come in underneath us, and then nobody wanted to work. We had to get the pour done, and if you guys don't know concrete, well, you should know concrete, but if you guys don't know, concrete is very specific. It tells you when it's ready. It and I'm like, what is concrete and freaking Carly's and no more's? 
and Lo Lucy's and Lola's and classics have to do with concrete, okay? So totally just going against what he says, right? So then he goes into this conversation about how he offered to pay the workers $100 an hour if they would stay and finish the job. So that way the deck, it was a half million dollar deck, because then he says deck, deck would be ruined. And he said that he just felt distraught and he felt ashamed and he felt like a failure because it turned into an absolute train wreck of a poor. And, you know, he named off big words like steal and things like that. And I was thinking to myself, what does this have to do? What does this have to do with your multi-billion dollar business? And this is what he thought it had to do. You want to know what he said? He said, I guess I won't, and this is, this is a quote, I won't be as condescending as to say that when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So he's not going to be as condescending to say, hey, girls that work for my multi-billion co dollar company, I won't be as condescending to tell you when life gives you lemons, go make some lemonade. But I am going to tell you, what did he say? He said, he didn't say get over it. What did he say? I'm not going to be as condescending when life gives you lemons, give you lemonade. But basically, he said, get over it. Basically, he said, get over it. I won't quote him on that one, but it was basically, get over it in a not so even nicer way. So at the end of the day, it comes down to a company that says they don't give special treatment to the higher ups, yet then they send a letter out saying that if you have a bigger customer base, it's only fair that you get to make more purchases. Okay, nobody was complaining about how much money they spent. The second thing is, listen, with this company, I feel like what life gives you lemons, I want to go get me a damn bottle of vodka and make me some lemonade twists because at this point with all this that's going on and all this chaos and all this craziness, this, I need a stiff drink to deal with this. So Mark, you gave me lemons. Where's my vodka? I need some vodka to deal with this crap. I mean, this is insanity. This is absolutely insane for a company that is worth multi-billion dollars in four years. You know what your problem is? You grew too fast. You know what your problem is? Another thing that you did, you sat there and said that 20, it was either 23 or 25% of your consultants got the no more collection. Don't you think that if you have a company where you say and claim that it is an even playing field, that more than 25% of your company should have actually got access to the pieces that will grow their business. Yet you get on there, you tell these women, these consultants, that they have to sit there and make lemonade out of lemons and get over it and it won't affect their business. At the same time that you're telling them you know what? Don't let this affect you. Go out there. You can still make money. We're not going to give you every tool that you need. We're not going to give you the actual clothes that sell. We'll save those for the high up consultants that bundle them in two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. And then we can make extra money because they're selling them in seven packs. These customers have to go and guess, you know, what they're going to get. They got to spend $200 to get a $25 pair of leggings. And then they can't even shop the small consultants. And you basically tell them that they need to figure out better ways and collective ways and better entrepreneurship. Let me tell you something. When you mentioned the concrete and you mentioned all these things that got went wrong, you compared it to your release by basically saying to your consultants, hey, guess what? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And I'm sitting here like, Mark, you ain't giving me no lemons. You ain't giving me nothing. What am I supposed to do? What are these other consultants supposed to do when they have a, all these customers excited to get something and only 23, 25% of them can actually get access to these items? There is a difference between promoting a business where it is an actual equal playing field and promoting a business that is, an, is a scheme to get lower people involved to then not give them access to the clothing. It's winter. Where's the winter clothing, Mark? Where's the winter clothing, Deanne? Why are the, the, the bigger consultants capable of getting winter clothing and the, the other consultants aren't capable? They've been out of stock for two months. Where's the Sarah's, Mark? Where's the Sarah's, Deanne? You guys don't know? You don't know? Maybe you should check underneath your million dollar pocket. Maybe you should check there. Maybe that's where the Sarah's are. Or maybe I should go, you know, ask someone else. You know, the other thing that I would like to say, guys, is, you know, if there's a level playing field where uh, consultants actually had access to these products, it, it would be it would be an equal playing field. But you cannot 
be condescending to grown adults, to mothers, to wives, to daughters, to say that we need to get off our butt and figure out a way to make it work. When you're working against a company that is working against you, there is no way to make it work. And you want to know, I want to throw a word out here real quick. I want to throw a word out here real quick. And you know what? It is what it is. Whenever you're giving special treatment to your higher ups in the system and you're giving them all the cheetah prints that haven't even been released yet, I've never known one consultant in my life, I've known one. I've known one. I've never known another consultant in the history of LuLaRoe who has ever gotten a full box of nothing but cheetah print Carly's. I've also never known a consultant that has gotten boxes of nothing but solid velvet Sarah's. I have only seen that happen once in LuLaRoe history and it just so happens to be one of your top five. Do you know what they call that on the stock market? Do you know what they call it with the stock market when certain people are privileged to certain information? They call it, what do they call it, Mark? Insider trading. So whether it's money or not money and you're just using clothing items, let me tell you this. When you go and you let your top consultants that have more of a customer base than your lower consultants... Get access to the to the to all the beautiful pictures that you're releasing on your social media to get everybody excited and you're hand giving those to your top consultants that make you the most money. That is insider trading. It might not be done with money, but it's done with the clothes and it's insider trading, which then again turns your company into a non-existent company. It turns into a scam. And then you have all these women in America that were so excited that wanted to be productive members of society, support their family, take care of their family, make some extra money for their family while they raise their kids, yet still have time with their family. And majority of them are spending all of their time over in a room like I am currently talking to your phone to sell these clothes clothes that don't that that don't even have the cutest patterns and then the ones that you do release with the cutest patterns because our our reach isn't big enough we're not privy we're not we don't get those things so that's basically what is happening here exactly martha stewart didn't like the outcome of her lies so that's another thing so then we go down further into mark's speech where he starts to cry and this was my favorite part there's a lot of people that are going to be upset that I even say this because I know that there's a lot of LuLaRoe consultants out there that are getting together currently and are making Mark man baskets to mail him man baskets because they felt so bad because they thought he was so genuine. I don't know what's so genuine about a concrete story. I don't know what's so genuine about deflection. But you guys, this is going to be the nail on the coffin. Let me, t let, 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 me, let, let me tell you this. So then he comes on there and he talks about... The ethics of his company and how he believes that the ethics of his company are based off of the constitution of this country, okay? And I'm like, Lord, now you're talking my language, Mark. Now you're talking concrete and you're talking the constitution. So now I'm right up your alley with this one, Hoss. So then he starts crying and he says, oh my gosh, I gotta make sure I quote him right. Hold on. I'm shaking, I'm so mad. So then he gets on there and he says, I would like to believe that my, the ethics of this company are based off that of the constitution, that everyone is capable of becoming a better version of them if they want to, that everyone is capable of being a business owner and an entrepreneur if they want to. And like MLK said, y'all, I am not joking. Like MLK said, I hope or I'm sorry, I have a dream. He said, I have a dream that one day every man can be judged by his character and not by the color of his skin. And I'm thinking to myself, man, you are digging real deep now to go and take all the issues that we have going on in our country right now that shouldn't even be here right now, that we've got to get together as good human beings and come together and fix. Now you're trying to bring that into your company and basically say that, you know, you decided that you want to quote MLK. Listen, you know what? You got one thing right. You got one thing right. I'll tell you what's right. MLK did say that he had a dream that one day every man could be judged by his character and not the color of his skin. You know what else? 
We aren't judging you by the color of your skin, Mark. We're judging you by your morals. We're judging you by your character. And you are crying because you are upset because your character has been attacked. Your character has been questioned. And there's a lot of allegations that are flinging around currently towards your way and your company's way. And it's unfortunate. But like I said, if you would have fired your PR exec months ago, then you wouldn't be in this situation, I cannot believe that a multi-billion dollar company would have such crappy PR set up within their system. But yet again, there's a lot of other crappy things that are happening with this company currently. You know, you want to sit there and you want to compare your business, your four-year business. You want to compare your four-year business to that of a man who changed America. That's pretty narcissistic if you ask me. You want to you want to compare your company and what you built in 4 years to that of a man who brought a country together. Not bankrupt families, tore families apart, put them in financial ruins because if you're a bigger consultant, guess what? We care about you. We don't care about you. And that's why it's the little consultants going out of business and it's not the big consultants that are going out of business because they're making the money because they're being hand given the items that the little consultants can't get. Now, I also would like to address that in my last video, some people were had an issue with the way that I said the collection. Listen, I don't care. I call it the no more collection because it's no more. There is no more. There was, never was more. Okay. Except for that one moment where the system happened to have a glitch and people were capable of buying more of the no more collection. And then you would send out an email saying that that was a computer glitch. When you have a multi-billion dollar company, you don't have computer glitches. When you have a multi-billion company, you shouldn't be having bad PR. When you have a multi-billion company, half of your items should not be out of stock. When you have a multi-billion company and it's winter, the winter items should be available to all your consultants. When you have a multi-billion company and you can afford an insane life for your family, then you should make sure that the people that feed your family, that house your family, that buy you your birthday presents, that buy the Christmas presents for your family are also capable of having the same fairness that you were given by being an American citizen, which is be an entrepreneur and, and, and create a business for yourself. But to say that all these consultants have the option of entrepreneurship is absolute crap because you have admitted yourself that the bigger consultants, they deserve it. They sell more. Wow. Well, if that's the case, Mark, then how in the world do the little consultants get bigger and better when they are incapable of getting the same things that you are capable of being able to get if you're a big consultant? These are just my thoughts, though. These are just my thoughts. So let's move on to tier number three of this disaster. Can we move on to tier number three on the disaster? All right. So tier number three. I had heard, I've been a LuLaRoe consultant for a few months now. Unfortunately, I've onboarded two very amazing people underneath me, and I will forever for the rest of my life probably feel really bad about that decision because I don't think that it was fair. In fact, I had one that onboarded last week and just launched today. Isn't that sad? Unfortunately, though, I was not capable of interacting in her launch because I didn't have the money to buy anything from her. Do I have money? Yeah. Did I have access to it? No. And let me tell you why. Let's go to tier number number three of this absolute disaster that I like to call LuLaRoe. I wake up this morning, I'm sending out my packages, you know, because I got, I gave every customer of mine a free pair of black Walmart leggings that I went and purchased and paid for out of my pocket because my customers, I was not going to allow I thought that they deserved to have a piece of black. I felt like they didn't have to go and shop from big consultants to get a pair of black leggings where they were forced to buy two, three, four, five, six, seven items that they didn't even know what they were. So I decided to go to Walmart and I bought out all of Walmart's black leggings. And so this morning I was finishing up shipping for the last people that had ordered from me and I was getting it ready to go to the post office by noon. Well, I had to go to Home Depot because, you know, we got a few home projects going on right now. And I went to go check my balance. Now, if you guys don't know this about LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe issues you a LuLaRoe retailer 
credit card. It is a prepaid credit card. It is not a debit card. Your name is on it, but let me tell you what your name is not on. So I noticed this the other day when I went to the store because, you know, I drank the Kool-Aid in the beginning, and I'm usually not dumb at things like this. So I drank the Kool-Aid, went to the store, get my receipt. I have to sign it because even though I have to put a pen in, I still have to sign it because it's really nice credit, right? I look now on my credit cards and my debit cards from actual banks. Whenever I make a purchase, you know what is underneath? You want to know what's underneath that line that says signature? It says my name, Riley Fickett. And then I sign, right? Because that's the printed version. Do you know what's on the bottom of my receipt whenever I go and sign that card? It says LuLaRoe. It don't say LuLaRoe Riley Fickett. It don't say Riley Fickett. It just says LuLaRoe. That's all it says. And I'm thinking to myself, well, is this my card or is this LuLaRoe's card? Whose card is this? So... We was going to Home Depot today, which is one of my favorite places to go, and it makes me very happy, especially when I'm very upset. So I go and I go to my funds, and I check my funds on my card, and I'm like, all right, babe, maybe I can help you, you know, get a couple things for your remodel. Then I see fraudulent charge, fraudulent charge, fraudulent charge, fraudulent charge. And I tell you what, somebody somehow got my card information, and they bought them some iTunes cards with my card. So then I go to a group that I'm in and I ask, does anybody else have any fraudulent charges on their LuLaRoe card today? And lo and behold, lo and behold, I was not the only one. Now, let me tell y'all something. With these LuLaRoe retailer cards, we are allowed, we, most consultants keep a lot of their, a lot of money on there because that's how we make our purchases. Are you capable of making it from a normal bank account? Absolutely. But LuLaRoe gives you an incentive of 5% off. 5% off of your merchant purchase, y'all, if you use your uh, LuLaRoe retailer card, right? So then, so I've always kept my order and money on there and I, and I transfer the rest. Here's the issue with these cards. Let me tell you something. Here's the issue, y'all. If you want to transfer it to your bank account, it takes five days. Now, I done called and talked to iTunes, and of course, it's fraudulent. What am I going to spend $400 on iTunes cards for? I don't know. So then, so then I get confirmed that it's fraudulent. So then I call my bank card, and I'm like, listen. I said, listen. And it's my fault. I kept most of my money on there. It's my fault, I guess. And I said, so how are y'all going to fix this? I said, what are y'all going to do? Y'all going to fix this for me? I said, that's, you know, $400. Thanksgiving's in, I don't know, a hop, skip, and a jump away. Black Friday's in, I don't know, another hop, skip, and a jump, and away. So then they said, well, ma'am, let me tell you how it works. And I said, oh, this ought to be good. They said, it's going to take, we're going to have to do a fraud investigation. It's going to take four to six weeks before we have any answer on what's going on, if we'll refund you the fees and for the fees to return to your card. Meanwhile, we need you to cancel your card. And I said, okay, well, how much is it going to cost me to expedite that card to me? Because, you know, Thanksgiving's around the corner. Black Friday's around the corner. So, you know, I need, I need to know. And they said, well, that takes seven business days. It's computer automated at six o'clock in the morning. We will go ahead and have that issued out to you. It'll take seven business days. And I said, well, listen, sis, I said, I, that, that ain't going to work. And she said, well, why not? And I said, because Black Friday and Thanksgiving is on Thursday. And if I'm doing my math right, which sometimes I get it wrong, but if I'm doing it right, that means that I'm not going to be able to have funds transferred to my normal non lularo bank account by Thursday. I'm not going to be able to have any funds transferred or get a new card by Thursday, which is Thanksgiving. So here's my question to you. I have no access to my funds for at least seven days right at the holidays. And isn't that convenient? Isn't that convenient? Now, let me tell y'all something. A lot of people are probably like, oh, well, it could have came from anywhere and it could have happened anywhere. I leave my house twice a week. When I leave my house twice a week, I go to the post office. That is the only place that I go. I work and I'm a mother and I clean and I cook and I work and I work and I work because I true myself believe that if you want to be a true entrepreneur, you have to dig in and you have to, you know, grit your teeth and you have to make something of yourself. But at the end of the day, 
I was working against a system that was working against me. So no matter how hard I wanted to try, no matter how hard I wanted to do, and I've done a lot better than some, you know, it didn't matter because the system is always going to work against me in this system that is set forth. And that is unfortunate. So now for a week, I have zero access to the money that I worked for. I have zero access to the money that I earned. I have zero access to the money. So I want to know this. All these consultants want to send Mark a man basket because he cried a little bit. Do you know how many consultants in America, past consultants, have cried for more than a second for a live that you then deleted that nobody could rewatch? Do you know how many consultants have been incapable of giving their children Christmas or birthday presents because unfortunately they had to have a conversation with their husband where they had to say, you know what, honey, I apologize, but I turned our family bankrupt. Do you know how many women have had to have conversations and cried with their husbands saying that all these things that I wanted to do and I had really good intentions of doing it, babe, but we're going to lose our house and we have to foreclose because they invested thousands of dollars in a company that doesn't give a crap about them because they don't have enough customers. So all these people want to send these man baskets to Mark because he cried for two seconds. I want to know what this company is doing for all those people that have been in tears and are in financial ruins because they fell for a company that told them that it was a level playing field and then decided to come out in an email that I read to you at the beginning of this live, basically stating that if consultants that are higher up have more customers, then they deserve to have more product. And that's just the way it is in LuLaRoe world. And then on top of it, decided to tell us when life gives you lemons, I'm not going to be as condescending as to tell you to make lemonade, but I'm going to tell you just to get over it. Oh, no, he didn't say get over it. His exact words were suck it up. Well, you know what? I have a message. Why don't you suck it up? Why don't you suck it up that the bad publicity over this company is outweighing the good right now? And had you taken care of your consultants a little bit better, they would have stuck around. There's consultants like me that actually enjoyed the clothing. I enjoyed the clothing. I did. And I enjoyed the original message of this company. But I don't enjoy the direction in which this company has gone, which has been money hungry, which has been more of a scheme than a reality of an actual legitimate multi-billion dollar company. And the other thing that you should also know as well is that when you build a company off of lies, it eventually tumbles down and all the lies come out. And that's what's happening right now. And it's unfortunate. And I hate to see it happen because I really had faith in you guys and I really had faith in this company. And I've always done my researches on all companies and I didn't see anything negative about this. But then I realized that this isn't really like a business. It's more like a cult. It's let me tell you what you want to hear so that way you'll continue to buy a product from me. And then eventually once I get you hooked, I'll start taking everything out it won't be available it'll be sold out it'll be out of stock and then I'll tell you to suck it up and when life gives you lemons make lemonade damn it well I want to know where my vodka is because that's about the only thing that is going to calm this sting right this second hey babe Aw, hi son you're so cute so here's my other question all these people buy mark man baskets mark when are you going to send my family a turkey mark when are you going to send my family stuffing because right now i have no access to any of my funds because of the bullcrap way that you set up your merchant agreements the bullcrap way that everything has been handled the fact that you put a 500 hundred dollar limit to my funds that i earned that i made and you won't raise it for nothing if i need it what am i supposed to do for the next week mark you care so much about everybody's growth. You care so much about all this. Isn't this the seventh time? I believe this is the seventh time. I know that I've talked, I've spoke to many consultants today where they have gone through fraudulent charges on their LuLaRoe cards more than once, had to cancel their cards more than once. So, you know, it's starting to like, kind of like seem to me like, is, is, is it coming from, you know, someone putting their stuff on online or is it coming from inside? Because it kind of seems like it's either coming from y'all or it's coming from the merchant because it keeps happening. And I'm not sure how a multi-billion dollar company, I mean, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying, I'm not sure how a multi-billion dollar company has so many security breaches on their um, consultants cards I just don't I just don't understand that I mean you, you you claim all these things and then you know you're supposed to protect us you're supposed to take care of us that's what a good CEO does they take care of their customers I'm your customer so here's my address mark it's P.O. Box 331 Lemington, Maine, 04049. Now, I would appreciate you send my family a turkey. I'd appreciate you send my family a stuffing. I appreciate you send my family, you know what, send us a whole Thanksgiving dinner because of the crap merchant agreements that you have set up and the way that you handle your business. I am incapable of supplying that to my family this year. 
through my LuLaRoe funds, I'm going to have to figure out another way because you don't know how to get your sticks in line. And that is absolutely unfortunate. And if you don't want people to get on here and you don't want people to be upset, then you know what? Maybe next time you address your multi-billion dollar company, you address it without talking about concrete. You address it without talking about lemons and juice and lemonade. You address it without bringing up MLK trying to basically twirl people's heads and make you think like you know what you're talking about when you really don't. Because when a business owner, let me tell y'all something. I learned this a long time. When a business owner or a CEO starts quoting other people, that's because they ain't got nothing of their own to say. When a business owner or a CEO has something big to address and all they do is quote other people or bring up their own past experiences in hopes that you feel sorry for them, it is because they don't know anything else to say because they have no sympathy. And that is what I believe happens. So no, I don't accept the speech that you gave. I don't expect your message. I don't, I don't accept your tears. I don't accept you telling me to get over it. I don't accept any of those things because I feel like you had 100% the opportunity to have a legitimate, amazing, multi-billion dollar company that did unite women, that did bring women together to help each other to flourish and to be have more women entrepreneurs in this world. I think that you absolutely did in the beginning. But the thing is, you wanted the car, you wanted the house, you wanted the clothes, you wanted the dream. And you know what? You did good at it. You did good at it. You get there on TV and you say, I didn't make, I didn't build a multi-billion dollar company by taking money from people. Well, you know, to each their own, it is what it is. I'm short lots of money right now. I don't even know where it is. In fact, when I go to pull up my statement with my card, you know what it tells me? It shows me nothing. It shows me nothing. None of my transactions for the last five months, it just erased everything the moment that I canceled the card. It's so crazy. It's so ironic. And you know, this is a lot of things that have happened in two weeks and I absolutely cannot even begin to fathom it. I can't even begin to, um, and, and I still can't even begin to say the things that I want to say, but at the end of the day, we wrapped it up, Mark. We wrapped it up. Um, if this is my customer review, I am your customer. I am one of your consultants. I might not be the one that's in your office and I might not be the one that bought you that car, but I still matter. And all these other consultants, they still matter. And all these people that have literally dug through pennies and change to try to make this company work for them and their families, they matter. All these people matter. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that that half a tissue it took for you to clean up them crocodile tears, you know, helped you a little bit. And now, you know what? I'm going to take your advice. Life gave me lemons, and I'm going to make some mother freaking lemonade vodka, and I'm going to forget the fact that I ever in a million years thought that it would be okay and the right thing for my family to work for a company that literally has proven over and over again to its consultants that we don't matter. So, again, if you want to send me my turkey, Mark, and oh, oh, I want more than a turkey, actually. You know what else I want? I want all my Black Friday shopping done that I can't do now because I won't have access to my funds that I worked for. I want all my Black Friday shopping. I want all my kids' Christmas presents sent to P.O. Box 331 Lemington, Maine 04049 because of your company, because of your choices, because of your lack of security, because of your lack of knowing how to work a queue, because of your lack of system failures, because of your lack of quality clothes, because of your lack of being able to actually come on and talk to your consultants and make them feel a little bit better, guess what? I am without my funds for a week. So there's a lot of things I'd like to say right now, but I'm going to leave that for the next video because you know what? There's going to be a next one because this is going to continue until this company does a nosedive all the way down to the ground. So I will update you guys if I actually even get the access to my own funds and my own money that I worked for. But as for now, for the next week, I guess maybe I should go be an entrepreneur and maybe break the rules and go open up my own boutique and sell some LuLaRoe out of it. But here's the other thing. It's illegal to do that. It's against your contract to own a storefront when you work for LuLaRoe. It's against our contract to own a storefront when we work for LuLaRoe. But you know what I'm thinking, Mark? I'm thinking that I know of five, 
five of your top sellers that just opened retail stores. I know of five of your top sellers that just opened retail stores, and it is against their policy. It is against LuLaRoe's policy. In fact, there's a division of LuLaRoe that goes and shuts down people who open up an actual storefront. So you want to know what? There's five people that have a storefront, yet it's illegal for any of us to do it in this company. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're about to pull a Tyra Banks. I think y'all about to pull a Tyra Banks and you're going to say, you know what? We've already done made all our consultants mad. Let's not put, let's, why not just put the cherry on the top? I mean, if it's against your procedures for us to own a storefront LuLaRoe business, then how come I know of five big wig top 100 consultants that have their storefront businesses, one in which posted about it today, but that was taken down off social media. I'm sure it's because she got reprimanded by you guys for posting that. But why are they capable of having websites and storefronts when consultants are forbid to have them? You want to know why? Because I think that you're about to pull a Tyra Banks where you're going to take and go from an MLM, mm, an MLM, mm, to full on retail. And then you're going to just let all your consultants go and that's what's going to happen. Or better yet, you might even throw in a doozy and surprise us all and say, hey, consultants, if you want to own a storefront with LuLaRoe, you only have to pay X amount of money to have a storefront. I mean, do you guys even know where the names of the items of the clothing come from? Retailers who choose their names and they pay lots of money to have an item named after them. Some people pay 100000 to get an item named after them. Some people have paid 160000 to get an item named after them. It's just ridiculous. It's all about money. It's not about bringing people together. It's not about nothing than just, you know, filling your pockets. And unfortunately, you know, when you, take some, when you take so much money out of a bunch of people's pockets and you leave them out to dry and you step on them and you squish them like little roaches that you have totally basically said that we are through your lack of communication with us and dedication to us, especially as small fish, then you know what? This is what happens. Top consultant sales are down. Orders are down. You know, it is what it is. If you're a multi-billion dollar company that you claim that you are, that you have been, and all these things, then I think that maybe it's time that more than 25% actually gets a piece of your collection. I think it's time that instead of rolling out new styles, you just keep the styles that you have in stock. Instead of coming with shoes, maybe you just come with some more Sarahs. Instead of coming with necklaces, maybe you just come with, you know, some more Carly's. Maybe we can get some more black. Maybe we can get some more cheetah print. Maybe we can get more black that isn't re dyed or repurposed or it's been, you know, I don't know. So anyways, this is my update on what I've been dealing with. This is how I feel right now. This is my view. This is my speech. This is my page and I can do what I want. So if you guys don't like it, then I hope you guys have a blessed day either way, because I am one of the happiest people in the whole wide world. However, I don't believe that money talks and bullshit walks. I feel like honesty talks and bullshit walks. And right now I am slap covered in shit. So I love you. Have a great day. All the retailers out there still working this horse. Y'all work it. Work it. Just because I have my opinions about things that I think don't mean that I don't support some people and my people that are still working this business and, you know, doing whatever that are content and happy with having 50% opportunity to actually be successful. I applaud you guys to the ones that have left. I understand you guys. Listen, we're all, you know, a big family in LuLaRoe. I mean, we're there to support each other. I mean, especially me personally. I mean, my LuLaRoe family is so big, y'all, that I think I talked to my sponsor once, never even heard how my live was, and had to contact another lady to figure out how to even work and operate my LuLaRoe system. But you know, we're a big family. We help each other out, right? It's all about women empowerment. You guys have a wonderful day. I feel much better. And now I'm going to go have me a nice little glass of wine. I'll be waiting for my turkey Thanksgiving and Christmas presents to that P.O. box, Mark real soon. I'd appreciate that because I know you're going to have an awesome Thanksgiving and you probably won't care that my family has zero access to the money that I trusted to put on your card that continues to get breached by security with fraudulent charges. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless America. I tell you what, bless your heart, Mark. We'll see you later.